Well, I've had a lot of guys message me and tell me that uh, finances are tight right now. Uh, they would love to get into saddle hunting. Uh, they would love to buy the Phantom or the Cruiser XC or uh, an Arrow Hunter um, Flex or Kestrel. Uh, but that the money is just tight right now, especially with everything going on in the country. Uh, not only do you have to buy your saddle, you have to buy um, your carabiners, your ropemans, you have to buy your lineman's belt, you have to buy your tether, uh, everything that comes with it, it it's, it's uh, pretty costly. So I totally understand that. Well, I'm pretty excited to show you what I'm gonna review today. Today I'm gonna be doing a review on the Treehopper Recon. The Treehopper Recon is a sling that was manufactured after the specs of the original Anderson tree sling. The dimensions on the Recon size medium are exact to the dimensions of the original Anderson tree sling. So it's pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited to bring this review to you. The reason being, this Recon sling retails at $149.95. It's an awesome sling that gets you into saddle hunting for a very, very reasonable price. So I'm really excited to review this for you today. In addition to the recon, I'm also gonna be reviewing the tree suit platform made by Tree Hopper. This little platform is an awesome little platform. Uh, it packs a punch, I can tell you. The great thing about this tree suit platform is it only costs $99.95. You're looking at $149.95 for the sling, $99.95 for the platform, and the only other thing you need are your lineman's belt, your tether, uh, carabiners if you need those, um, Ropeman 1 or uh, small diameter rope to try Prusik knots. You cannot beat the Tree Hopper products for the price. If you're a guy who uh, just does not have $400 plus this recon sling is comfortable it's super comfortable super strong 6,000 pound tensile strength on the webbing two inch webbing I think the one inch tubular webbing bridge is a 3,500 tensile strength uh, the buckles are I think a thousand pound or 1,500 pound strength I'm telling you this together will get you into saddle hunting at such a reasonable price, you can't go wrong. I do wanna say, just a full disclosure, I did not purchase any of these products. Mark Kama, the owner of Tree Hopper, sent these to me to review, um, and I told him I'd be happy to review these. I was super excited to actually review these. I've been in the recon and used the tree suit one time prior to today. So a couple things that I wanted to show you about the tree suit platform. It's got a really nice T-hook on the back here. This little plunger button that's spring activated. You can just unhook your ratchet strap at the while you're up in the tree standing on your top stick. Put this around the tree and just clip it into itself. And you never have to feed the strap through the buckle. I love that idea. The other thing I wanted to point out, this is called the strap retainer clip. One on this side, and there's one on this side. What you do is you adjust the buckle to the side of the tree you want it on, or the side of the platform that you want it on. Once you get it located where you want it, you just take an Allen wrench and you tighten down those hex screws and it tightens down on the strap. And what that does is it holds the strap in position. I cannot pull that strap through. Uh, so many times you throw a strap around a tree, you grab the tag end and you pull it and it just flips around on you and it doesn't snug up to the tree. With these strap retention clips, once they're snug down, your strap's not going anywhere. Great little concept, super impressed with this. One of the coolest parts of this whole review is the fact that one of you are gonna win this Tree Hopper Recon medium size tree sling. After talking with Mark, he agreed to let me 
do a giveaway on this sling. So all you have to do to be eligible to win the sling is one, subscribe to my channel, and for two, drop me a comment below that you're interested in being a part of the drawing. If you want to leave me comments or questions regarding the tree suit platform or the recon, feel free to do so. I'm going to be doing the drawing the first week of August. So get your name in quick so you don't miss an opportunity for a free sling. So I just wanted to say thank you to Mark for allowing me to not only review the tree suit platform and the recon, but also for allowing me to give one of these away uh, to one of you. So thank you, Mark. I appreciate that, and I'm sure all the viewers appreciate that as well. Let's get to the tree, and let's get started with the review. Okay, so the one thing that I learned about the Recon is that it's made with a, a lower section and an upper section. Now, the sections are sewn together at a, a seam near the hips, but they work independent of each other. So you have a lower section that you can adjust on your butt and legs, and you have an upper section that you can adjust higher or lower on your back. With that being said, if you have dump pouches attached to the molly loop across the top of the strap, those dump pouches will pull down on the upper section and actually uh, makes it difficult um, to get it seated in the right position. The reason being is all that weight is pulling down on that top section. So what I found works is when you get to the tree, before you loosen up your waist belt, go ahead and attach your lineman's belt to both sides of your lineman loops. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually put a little weight onto the recon. Now I can undo my belt and loosen that way up and I can keep enough pressure on the top of the sling to hold the top up, but I can pull down on the bottom and get the bottom into the correct orientation. Now you can reach down and you can attach your leg straps. Just make sure that you don't put your leg strap accidentally through your bridge. It's a real easy process and it just helps you get the orientation of the sling in place before you actually get up to hunting height. So now that we have the leg straps on, the saddle's in the proper orientation, now I can continue to put my sticks and ascend the tree. All right, so we made it up here in the tree. First thing I'm gonna do is test the one inch tubular webbing bridge. I wanna see how easily that slides. That slides through the carabiner really smooth. I gotta be honest with you, I love AM steel bridges. I think you know that from my prior reviews. But this one inch tubular webbing slides through here, I gotta admit, smoother than an AM steel bridge or a rope bridge. I do wanna point out, you can add a AM steel bridge to the recon. So as you can see, this is just fed through on both sides. There's a tag end and it is adjustable. You can adjust this one inch tubular webbing um, longer or shorter. But back to my point, if you wanna take this tubular webbing out, all you have to do is put a piece of uh, AM steel in here in place of the one inch tubular webbing. I also wanted to point out that your waist buckle is completely removable. Um, this little buckle here just holds your waist strap in place by feeding it through this metal plate right here. All you have to do is take this strap out and here you can see your waist belt is completely removable. So you have two pieces. So to put it back on, you just feed it through these metal plates. You seat this down in. Feed this side through. And then feed your strap through the metal um, speed plate, I think, or a speed buckle is what this is called. One thing I will say is when you put it back on, you're gonna to wanna to 
lay the tag end back on top of itself, not on the bottom. You want to lay it on top. Feed it through your buckle. Hook your T hook or your G hook. Some people call them one or the other. Hook that on your and pull it tight. And now you have your tag end on top and you can cinch it up if you want. When you're in the sling, you're going to want to have the waist belt loose. That's one thing Mark and I talked about on the phone prior to me receiving the sling is he recommended that you loosen the waist belt. And what that does is that allows you to orient the bottom section and the top section easier. If your waist belt is cinched down super tight, everything is pulled tight against your waist and you have a harder time making those adjustments. A little bit. So what I did was I just took my weight off and I lowered that and knelt down again and that was super comfortable. Uh, there's no pulling. Um, I could totally lean back. Um, if I raise that top portion up, I could lean into it. I don't know if there would really be much of a need for uh, a back band with the recon. Uh, you have that built in if you want to raise that up. Right there, I just sat into it like I would a recliner. And that totally holds your, your back. Um, you literally feel like you're in a recliner. There's total back support when you raise that lower or that upper section. So now I want to raise the tether up higher and I want to see if it makes a difference having a, a higher tether height. I'm going to put it at about forehead height. There's really uh, no difference in comfort. It actually feels a little easier to move around with the tether higher. Um, when I had it down here lower, I was kind of limited in my mobility. I feel like this frees up to kind of move around a lot easier. The bridge slides through really easily, really nice. It's interchangeable. It's adjustable in length. You have one row of Molly loops across the top. They are a gray and white and black camo. Kind of cool looking. You have leg straps. The cool thing about these leg straps is they will completely come off of the saddle. They're not sewn in. You could throw it in a drawer, hang on to it for uh, a later date if you decide you want to put them back on. Uh, but they're completely removable and you don't have to destroy them to take them off. What I've learned is to wear the sling in, it's more comfortable if you have both sections laying on top of each other together and just have those across your uh, hips. I'm really impressed with the Recon. It's, uh, it's very minimalist, it's very lightweight. I believe it weighs 1.5 ounces. The two inch webbing is aircraft grade webbing. What I think is pretty cool about the Recon is how the top and lower sections are sewn together, but how they work ind independently of each other. Similar to the expansion chamber in the XC, how you can pull the top and bottom apart and extend the width of coverage. You can do the same in the Recon. Now let's take a look at the tree suit platform. I can go all the way around and put side pressure on it. It's not moving. The tree suit is the perfect size. It's just enough to really be comfortable and just about put your whole foot on there. It locks into place really well. There's some pretty good side pressure right there. Pretty good side pressure right there. Shaking the whole tree and that's not moving at all. It 
if I had a deer coming in behind me, I feel 100% confident that I could get all the way around the tree and I could have the tree between me and the deer just based on what I just did there. That was very easy, very quiet. Well, as you could see, I had quite a bit of pressure on the tree suit and it didn't move, it didn't spin. Uh, it held my weight totally fine. So if finances are tight right now, I would highly recommend considering the Recon and the tree suit platform. Um, it's a great combination. It's a great system, very comfortable. You just cannot beat the quality of this setup for the price. All right, so that's gonna do it for the Tree Hopper Recon and tree suit platform. If you have any questions, uh, just drop me a comment below and I'll respond to any questions you have. Don't forget that one of you are gonna win the Recon Sling the first week of August. All you have to do is one, subscribe to my channel, and two, drop me a comment below. Let me know you're interested in being a part of the drawing. I appreciate it. Hope you guys like this review. We'll talk to you later.